How's your shoulder feeling? Shoulder feels good. <laughs> Um, so are you still great. feeling discomfort or anything like that when you, when you play or practice? Or uh, I mean, today was kind of like practice. We did a lot of shooting and stuff. Um, feel fine. So, uh, I mean, you can't really simulate, you know. Well, you can, but you don't want to really simulate stuff that happens in games, you know, um, and have a chance of, you know, re aggravating it in practice. So, um, I feel good doing practice and we'll see how I feel tomorrow. What are you looking forward to most about getting Kuzma on the floor tomorrow? Just have another, you know, guy back on the team. Um, you know, he's able to score the basketball, defend. You know, he's a big part of our team and what we're trying to do and trying to accomplish. And um, it's good for him. You know, he he wants to be a part of it so bad, and now he has a chance to come back tomorrow and and be a part of it. And you know, we're only getting better by adding him. I know you haven't been able to play a whole lot with him. Um, since, since writing, but what have you? What has surprised you the most, or what have you learned about him um, in your time around him? Uh, he works extremely hard. I mean, he he works his ass off to get back. You know, every day before practice, after practice. You know, you, he's one of those guys you got to you know pull off the floor. Um, you know, he's been doing a great job with Coach Phil on you know adding to his game, uh, and standing in the weight room and getting stronger, making his make sure his foot is okay, and you know it all paid off. And so you know, the more I see him work. Um, the more he inspired me because, you know, seeing a guy work that hard and knowing what he wants, um, you know, it makes us go out there and play even harder. He had such a different dimension for what you guys are able to do. And with an injury like that, you don't know how long it can last. Mm -hmm. When you knew that he was going to be out, you know, into the start of the regular season, were you at all concerned about if you guys would, like, lose ground in, in the West or in the standings while you waited for him? No. Um, you know, it just made everybody you know, have to step up. You know, anytime a guy goes out, guys have to step up, and that's a good thing about our team. We have, you know, so many guys who can play the game of basketball and play the right way and wants to win that, you know, you can throw any guy in there, and uh, you know we do okay. Uh, you know, we started does in the preseason game. Does come in AC has been ready and started the first, I mean the second half. Um, so. You know, we throw guys in the fire, and you know we have guys who can handle it. Anthony, have you thought about how you guys can match up defensively in a group that was you, LeBron, and Kuzma, and just him coming back, and what kind of players he could defend? Uh, yeah, I mean, he can guard one through four. Um, it definitely adds a lot to our defense, adds a lot to our offense. Um, lineups can look a little different now. We can go with a tall lineup. Um, we have me, Bron, and Kuzma on the floor. You know, three, four, five. Um, and throw like Danny and you know Rondo, whoever else is gonna be at the point. Um, so, you now we have a lot of options now that we have Kuz, and we can switch some things up, and uh, that's the most exciting part. Kuz has talked a lot about wanting to improve both as a playmaker and a defender, and bring those mm -hmm. dimensions to his game. Based off what you saw playing against him the last couple of years, have you seen those strides? Um, he haven't really. You know, when I'm on the other side, you know, I want to go at Kuz, so. You know, and I feel like no one can guard me. So, you know, he he always struggled defensively against me. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I mean, but he he wants to make that jump. You know, knowing the defensive team that we can be, you know, um, everybody wants to be better defensively. And just seeing Avery Bradley makes us want to be better defensively. Um, and then offensively, I mean, you know, he he was young. You know, first two years, you know, you're trying to find yourself in the league, and um, he was definitely ahead of the curve. And now. That he's found himself and he's even more confident than what he was coming to the league. He's he's going to be outstanding. How long did it take you in your development and the type of versatility that you have now to really feel confident in that? Uh, three years. I think about maybe the middle of my third year, I felt very confident. Um, you know, he he has he's going to have a lot of open shots. You know, he's going to be able to play make. He's going to be able to have isolations. Um, and he's worked on all of that. You know, he's worked on the shooting. Um, you know, he's worked on a lot of things in his game that's going to help us. Um, and he, he's very confident, very confident. Um, so we're excited to have him back. Uh, Por uh, Porzingis has kind of the unique length, uh, even in the NBA. Is that a guy that you want to try to get out on the floor and, and take off the dribble? Or, I'm so sure it would depend on the game situation. But yeah, it depends on the game. Yeah. I mean, the Florida game, uh, you know, he's, he's a great shot blocker. Um, you know, you try to get into his body, you know, uh, same way. And it's always tough because, I, I mean, I'm in the same situation. You know, gosh, I'll do the same thing. You know, bring me on the floor and go by me. Um, 
he can give guys space and still get a great contest. So um, he's one of those guys that's a little tricky. Last question, please. Uh, you talked before about how you feel like sometimes LeBron can can um, kind of take the lead in, in a game for you and, and ease some of the burden off your shoulders a little bit. Do you feel like Kuz is another one of those guys who kind of lifts that for you a little bit? Absolutely. Um, with the scoring ability, um, his ability to um, draw defenders' eyes, he's able to take pressure off of everyone. Um, that's why we're so excited to have him back. You know, we can you know put Kuz on the floor and and know he can go get a bucket for us and also be able to defend on the other end. So um, I say it's a good problem to have. We have a lot of guys who can who can score the basketball, um, create for, for themselves. And uh, when you have that, it takes a burden off everyone's shoulders.